Hello everyone, welcome back to IndianCoding.com. Today we are going to study about responsive web design, the viewport. So what is the viewport here? The viewport is the user's visible area of the web page. The viewport varies with the device and will be smaller on the mobile phone than the computer screen. Okay, so in that case, let me just uh, give you one image here and then I will provide one paragraph. Okay. The two things I have provided here, after that we'll run this code and we'll see if this codes are and the image is available. Yeah, everything is working properly. So let me go to the inspect and I will provide the responsive web page. So once you'll move this size, uh, move this, resize this uh, of this particular web, website or you are making it in the form of mobile or tab. So you can see the size is getting changed. So yeah, the responsive way is working properly right now. So let me give you the styling tag for this particular text fine so in that case what is going to happen first i have to mention the meta okay so meta name i should provide it inside that first i will just uh, will set the cache set here inside the cache set it means whatever the codes that is not belong to the html and you are going to provide it that will work properly Okay, the second thing I'm going to write is the viewport. So it will work as a viewport. So uh, what kind of width you are going to provide? The width should be of device width. Okay, so what is the meaning of width here? So whatever the device you will provide, the width will change according to that particular content. Fine. So this is the what the width means. So content is equal to width device width equal to device. Width. Okay. The two things I have provided. Now one more thing I need to write is initial scale equal to uh, initial scale equal to 1.0. The parts at initial zoom level when the page is the first loaded by the browser. So that is how the three things you must provide in that case. Okay. So these are the few things that you must write inside the viewport. So this one, uh, this is always available. So now on screen, you can see that it is coming for uh, exactly how it is written. So now it is responsive inside the responsive website. This is working properly. Whatever you will write, it is working. Whatever the length it will provide according to your phone, tab or laptop lengths. So uh, that is what the uh, viewport work for. You just need to provide the setting for this viewport and Whenever you resize the size of your particular website, it will work according to that. So now you can see the size of this particular website I have given is what is the width and the size. So it is coming according to that. If I will decrease it and it will come in that form. So that is how you can provide it. So that's all for today's class. Tomorrow we'll study about more features related to CSS. Thank you so much.